Good afternoon, everybody. Dave Monahan, Goods and Tools and Supplies. Once again, it's time for another Tech Lab Tuesday. Today, we're going to kind of continue with the uh, multi valve overhead cam cylinder head uh, uh, conversation that we had in our last episode. You remember the CF500 workbench here for taking these multi valve overhead cam cylinder heads apart? putting them back together. It's a handy tool to have for that. But there's another tool I want to introduce to you today. It's not a new tool in the product line. We've had it for a couple of years, but you haven't seen a detailed demonstration on it. And today I want to talk to you about our, our BLG 1000, our bucket lifter grinder tool. The bucket lifter grinder is going to show up at your shop in a nice carrying case just like this. Once you open that up, you'll see the instruction manual, of course. You'll see this round boss uh, a one thousandth of an inch dial indicator that's included with it. And then you're also going to see a, a, day, a die grinder. We're going to give you the die grinder for free because all the technology, all the patent, and all everything that's going to happen happens up here in the upper part of it. So I know you can get uh, more high-end die grinders out there in the marketplace, but we're going to give you this one for free. A little background on this BLG 1000 is this came from an engine builder just like you. His name is Jeff. He lives in Florida. And a couple, three years ago, he approached us at the PRI show over in Indianapolis and said, hey, I've got a new concept. Do you have time to listen? I said, of course, absolutely, we have time to listen. That's another reason why we attend the PRI show. So we went through this conception that he had. He had a couple of drawings with him. And I said, I like it. I like it, everything I see. Go finish your development at work. Go ahead and apply for your patent. Get your patent and then come back and see me. And uh, by God, he did. He got right up on the wheel. He finished the design. He got the tool patent and he came back to have goods and tools and supplies exclusively market and distribute this tool for him worldwide. So we're very proud, very honored that we were selected uh, because of our ability to not only bring new tools to market, but also make sure they get distributed worldwide. So that brings me to a point. If you've got a good idea, the next new product idea, that should go in the Goodson catalog, get with me, Dave Monahan, and I'll have a good look at it. I'll be straight up with you, and maybe it can earn its way to be a product that we offer to all of our engine building customers worldwide. But now I've gotten a little away from the original subject. BLG 1000, patented tool, has a, has a couple of features I want you to be aware of. There's a process when you assemble these uh, cylinder heads, the final, uh, a process is setting the cam lash in these, <laughs> hence the name, multi-cam overhead, multi-valve overhead cam uh, cylinder heads. You got to measure that cam lash. And fortunately, we have these extra long feeler gauges that we can make available to you in different thicknesses. We get right in there, we measure that. And if it's correct, we're good to go. If it's not correct, we've got some heavy decisions to make because the biggest decision we have to make is where are we going to affect that dimension? I have a couple places I can do that. I can get right in here, I can take the cylinder head completely apart, and I can machine the stem on that valve. That's one way to do it. I can also take the cylinder head completely apart, and I can re-grind or recut those seats to get that clearance set. Or I can use the bucket lifter grinder because it's so much easier. If you see here, I'll let uh, Richard get a good close-up. This boss right here is what we're going to machine versus cutting that stem or grinding that valve or cutting that uh, uh, valve seat uh, to again affect that clearance. With our bucket lifter grinder we're able to do that fast and quick and I'll show you why. This is a CBN button as the cubic boron nitrite material right here. We've got a micrometer feed down here. Each of these lines are referenced two thousandths uh, per increment all the way through. So big line to big line, for those of you keeping score at home, that's 10 thousandths. Also, we include this dial indicator and this round boss so we can take a measurement. So we're having a couple different ways to measure where we need to be. Now I've already preset this uh, indicator at zero, five, zero. So I have a good starting point. I've also got a, got a starting point here. I've set my, uh, my tool at uh, two thousandths uh, under. So I'm going to take six thousandths of material or three of those increments uh, to affect that and we'll confirm the amount of material removed 
with our dial indicator. So again, like I said, it's very simple. We get our tool set up here. We hook it up to air. Hang on, I forgot the air hose. I know, details, details. Where's my prop man when I need it? You know, where is the guy that's supposed to be prepping all this for me? We don't have anybody like that. I'm supposed to do it all. <coughs> Got my die grinder set up, it's going. I put that right on the top. This is square, 90 degrees. <coughs> I've got a zero point, not happening. So, I dial in two thousandths, I take that off. <coughs> I dial in another two thousandths and I remove that. So remember, I'm trying to get to six thousandths here. So two thousandths more. I dial in another two thousandths right there. You might see a little bit of jumping of that tool going around because it is spinning, spinning around, and we want to hold our, our uh, bucket lifter as tight as we can to this platform. You might even feel a little bit of heat coming through on the other side of this lifter. That's okay. It's part of the process. We're not going to get in there and stay in there long enough for that to be an issue. So I've taken about six thousandths off according to my dial. I'm going to put this lift bucket lifter back in the board. I'm going to install my cams. And I'm going to use my dial uh, feeler gauge to again measure what my cam lash is supposed to be. If I've done everything correct, I'm done at that point. If not, then I need to go back through and affect some more dimension off of that bucket lifter. So it'll, it's really a task-saving, time-saving tool because disassembling and reassembling and machining these components again, trying to get that cam lash right, really chews up a lot of your time. From what I've heard from customers that already have this tool, they're able to save an hour to an hour and a half of assembly time. Now you start stacking up 90 minutes in your day, you're only doing four of these cylinder heads a day. You can add another three hours. That means you can get one more out in a day. And once you get really into the routine of it, you might be able to add two more cylinder heads to the day. So the investment is certainly worth your hard earned money. It does work, it is very accurate. And let's find out if the uh, micrometer did work. I'll pull this back out, set this up here, set my dial indicator back on the top of that boss. And if I recall, I should have taken about 6,000 out. Let me see if I can just get this thing here correctly. That's a little bit of a balancing act, getting it right there where I want it. And you can see I'm right here, and I've only taken about, looks like about five thousandths off on that dial. One, two, three, yeah, right about five thousandths. So again, I've got a little bit of wear from the CBM. I've got uh, uh, my <laughs> inaccuracy, uh, a Fumble Fingers Monahan on call to get that set up. But the tool works, the BLG 1000 is what you need in your shop if you're doing a lot of these multi-valve overhead cam cylinder heads. Got questions? Catch us on the phone at 1-800-533-8010 or catch us on the web at goodson.com. Want to say thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.